Well, today I want to talk to you about a verse in the Bible that people use all the time to condemn those who do not have the correct length of hair. For example, a guy has long hair or a woman has short hair. Well, they'll throw this verse at you if the religious folks, those are conservative evangelicals, the Baptists love this verse too. And they use, doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a shame unto him. But if a woman has long hair, it is a glory to her. Her hair, hair is given to her as a covering. But, well, we'll get to that later, but... Well, it says here, does not even nature teach you that if a man has long hair? Well, the Apostle Paul wrote this 2,000 years ago, and he was a Roman citizen. So obviously he was quite familiar with lions. Now, if you've seen a male and a female lion, which one has a longer hair? Uh, the male? Okay, and this is all of nature and some verse, some versions of this Bible verse. Well, okay, what was Paul saying? Does not nature teach you? Um, well, let's look at ducks. Who are the prettier of the two ducks? Usually the male. Peacocks. Who has the longer feathers? The males. All throughout nature, um, that doesn't make sense. Now, a woman having longer hair, okay, hey, great, you know. Um, it is a glory to her given to her for her covering. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're naked, you got long hair, yeah, you can cover your private areas, but, uh, okay. <laughs> and then Paul goes on to say here, if any man seemed to be contentious, <laughs> okay, what's going on in the church? Lots of contention. Well, you got to have long hair, you got to have short hair. <laughs> depending on who you are. <laughs> we have no such custom, neither the churches of God. So what's Paul saying here again? We don't have any custom if it was a long hair or short hair. Now, where this verse came from, as well as Corinthians, is they asked Paul a lot of questions. We wish he had the questions, but here we have the answers that Paul wrote back to the churches. So they're probably having some big controversy over hair and everything else. And Paul's saying, hey, no, we don't have any traditions here. So why are the churches today condemning people for their hair length? None of this makes sense. You know, I even heard, well, if you have long hair, you're a guy, you're going to go to hell. And if you shave your head, if you're a woman or have short hair, well, you're going to hell. <laughs> Where does it say that? And what people need to do is chill out. Let's stop and take a look reasonably and rationally look at the scriptures and make some logical conclusions, not worry about what people are wearing or what their hair length is or anything else on the externals, and let's focus on the heart and what truly matters, and that's our relationship with our Creator. That's our relationship with our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hopefully this helps some people to uh, have an answer for what's really going on here and if they ever come across the situation. I uh, hope this helps you. And uh, subscribe, like, any other questions of a religious nature, I'd love to answer them. Um, there's a lot of sacred cows in the Bible, and I'd love to kick over and help you do so, and you can fight back. Like I say in my description, I have a great relationship with my creator, but I hate religion and I hate all his religious philosophies. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.